Hey everyone, so if you own a fourth generation 4Runner, this you're probably very you're probably very familiar with these three lights: the VSC off, the uh, traction control, and the ABS, along with the check engine light. They all come on at the same time. And the problem with these, I mean, it, well, there's there's few different things. One of them could be the gas cap that you just gotta replace the gas cap, and this could could go away. So in my case, I've done that, and it's still there. The next. Um, Next step for me would be the front speed sensors. So I ordered two front speed sensors and don't go to your local part uh, uh, or, or to a dealership. Uh, they are pretty expensive. They'll charge you an arm and a leg for that. But if you order it on Amazon, they're pretty cheap. Uh, so I suggest you do that. I will li leave a link on, uh, in the comments for you of where to get them. But I'll show you where they're at in a second here. I just kind of want to show you on, uh, on the dashboard what it looked like. So if you go up front, uh, and both of them are located up front, let's go on this side, I'll, sh I'll show you on this side. So you're, you'll just need a, um, a flathead screwdriver to get in there and unplug it, but it's right there. So in my case, it's pretty easy. Uh, I have the uh, aftermarket bumper and my truck is lifted, so it's easier to get to. But essentially what you wanna do is just put your screwdriver right behind here. And I've already loosened it a little bit because I know I was gonna work with one hand. So you just put it right here, loosen it up, and then you unplug it. Just like that. So you'll you'll do you'll need two hands obviously to do that. And I, I sprayed some WD-40, but you do need an Allen key to get into that. And take that uh, sensor out. And the ones that I ordered uh, right up here. They come in a pack like this, and this is what they look like. So that's what they look like in the pack. And I'll show you how to replace that, but it's it's fairly easy, and hopefully that gets rid of uh, the lights that I have on my dashboard. All right, so to take the bolt off, you're gonna need again. You're gonna need an Allen key. This is a number five, um, and you just put it in here. Or right where your bolt goes. So obviously, I don't have enough uh, enough of a grip. So I just get an extension, put it in the Allen key, and uh, you just kind of force it open. Once it's open, it's fairly easy to uh, really unscrew it with your fingers. The bolt looks like all right and then to get this loose get a flathead screwdriver um, put it under it and just kind of pry it out really uh, slowly so you don't break anything but I guess it's the old one you don't even if you don't need it really even if you break it I meant to say it's you don't need it but that's what it looks like there's a lot of corrosion on there so before you put your new one in Pretty important to clean the, the area that you're going to work on. Clean it up fairly good and then get your new one. There's a new one. Push it in. And then your bolt. Go back on there. Alright, so once you tighten it by hand, give it a couple more twists with your Allen key. Alright, so to tighten it, same process, so you have a better grip.
All right, I'm gonna plug it back in. And that's all there is to 